<laughs> okay, uh, today I'm going to talk to you quickly about Windows Server 2012 Essentials. Now the 2012 Essentials is the next version, I guess if you want to call it that, in the Home Server series. Windows Home Server started in 2008 as Windows Home Server, and that's all they call it. And it was actually based upon their full server product of 2003. Uh, they added some functionality to give it a little bit easier for home users to set up and, and connect to. It also had some uh, fairly good uh, cloud tools, if you want to call it that. And there's been a couple of revisions since that time, but now the current version uh, is the 2012 Essentials. And I wanted to show you a little bit about that from the user aspect. And the reason I want to do that is, I know there's a lot of push these days on uh, people going to cloud services. In other words, taking your stuff and put it on a server up on the internet somewhere in the cloud. To me, I don't like doing that. That's just me. Because I know, being a technology guy, who works on servers every day, that anything in the cloud is nothing more than a computer called a server. That server is in a building. That building is accessed by people. So your stuff is going on somebody else's computer for them to play with. Believe it or not, they look through your stuff. And if you have anything questionable uh, on your stuff, on their server, they're going to turn you in. Not that I do. I'm just saying, I don't like my stuff on somebody else's computer. So a long time ago, I ripped all my CDs, uh, ripped all my DVDs and Blu-rays and all that stuff and put them on my Windows home server. So with the new version, 2012 Essentials, they've really tweaked up the, uh, the cloud connectivity. So that you can now, from any... Uh, computer, either whether it be like a laptop, you know, I got a little laptop here, um, or a computer anywhere in the world that has a web browser, you can connect to your own personal server that's on the cloud and get some real good functionality out of it. So I'm going to show you the screens. Now I'm not going to show you the back end server in this video. I'll show you that in another one. Show you how easy that is to set up. This video I'm just going to show you what you would uh, see if you uh, attached to it from a web browser anywhere in the world okay so let me go uh, get on the screen here and I'll show you some of that alright so here we are on the computer and uh, what I want to show you I'm going to open this up in uh, well, I don't know I'll open up an Internet Explorer here any web browser will work um, and the first thing you want to do is put in the address of your server Now, if you choose to purchase a uh, certificate, a secure certificate for your server, you won't get this pop-up. Um, I know my personal server is secure, so I didn't feel like spending the 50 bucks a month, or 50 bucks a year, whatever it was, for a certificate. So I'm just going to continue to this website. All right, so here we go. I am now at my Windows Server 2012 Essentials. And I'm going to go, there's a couple of different views, there's a, depending on what you're logged in, here's a tablet view, and I'm just going to leave it on desktop view. Okay, so let me log in here. Alright, so here we go, this is what it looks like when you first log in. And there's quite a few functions, uh, and I'll take you through some of them other later. Uh, and again, you can do this from anywhere in the world. This, essentially, I'm connecting to it through the cloud. And I can go to shared folders, uh, computers. I can actually uh, remote control a computer that I have at home in my office if I need to. Uh, but the media 
is what I really wanted to show you, this media library over here. And the first thing it's going to show you is how many pictures and how many songs and how many videos. But I'm going to show you the first one I'm going to go to is the music. And it's going to go into your media folders on your server. And it's going to show you all of the files that you have. I don't remember what it was, all 14, 1400 songs or whatever it is. No, no, uh, almost 4,782 songs. Okay, so it took a little bit to populate this. 408 albums. And now, if it can find album art, it will do so. And it will show it to you here. And that's pretty cool. Alright, so let's pick one of these guys here. I'm going to just pick some uh, ACDC. That's... I'm kind of an ACDC guy. And then over here on the side, it uh, it shows you all the songs. You can add them to a queue or you can play. And I'm just going to hit play because that's really what I wanted to show you. Now, in the previous versions of Windows Home Servers, uh, it would typically uh, download the music to whatever computer you're on. And then you could, you could uh, play it from there. It talks about your certificate errors there, but we don't care about that. All right, so here it's it's uh, loading up our song. It starts playing, and it's showing us all of our personal album art here in the background. You can see there's some things here that it doesn't know what they are, but that's okay. Now, at that point, you don't even need that screen. You can you can actually close it. I'm just going to minimize it because I want to show you some other things later. So here's your album art. Here's what you're playing. And here's all of your other songs. Let's uh, let's switch here. Let's uh, let's go. Oh, here's some Leonard Skinner. Let me look and see what's in there. Let's play old Leonard. You see it switches. Get your album art. Starts playing Leonard. Can't hardly beat Leonard. So here's your uh, functions. Stop. Previous. Pause. Next. Shuffle. Uh, repeat. Full screen. Mute. Or sound. And you can go full screen. <laughs> That's pretty cool. There, there too seeing all your personal stuff. This is my personal stuff on my personal server and it's not on anybody else's server. Okay, so I'm going to hit escape here to minimize or put it back in a window. And I'm going to, now, now this is running a Microsoft Silverlight function. Close that down. Open this back up again. Okay. So let's go back here now. I'm going to hit home. Okay, so there was the music functionality, but that wasn't too bad. Like I said, in the previous version, uh, you'd have to click on it and download the song to whatever device you were on, and then you could play it. Music, that's not too bad because the files are relatively small. The problem came in, the real problem came in with videos, because it didn't have any streaming functionality. Well, the new 2012 Essentials will stream, using Microsoft Silverlight, stream the video from your server to your device. So let me show you some uh, video streaming. I, uh... Okay, so here I'm back at my home screen, and I'm going to show you the uh, videos today. And uh, you can have many folders here in your library. I only have one main folder. Inside that main folder, I have many separate folders. Let's go into comedy here. Open the folder. Again, you can do this from anywhere in the world. Okay, so here's my actual videos. Uh, I'm just going to click on old Austin Powers gold member here. We'll do play. Let's see what we get. A little buffering action there. And we have a movie playing. Again, we don't need this open. There we 
we go. A little Austin Powers action. Can't hardly beat that. Okay, so there's a little preview of the internet-based side of it, the web or the cloud-based side of uh, 2012 Essentials. Um, very functional. It's, it's really a, a good product. If you want to put one in your home, load up your DVDs, load up your music, and access that stuff anywhere without relying upon some other service or some other server or people monkeying around with your stuff, it's a good option. Uh, if you're interested in seeing more about 2012 Essential Server, the server side of it, leave me a comment. And uh, if I get enough comments, I'll go ahead and try to get a video in on it. But right now, I just wanted to show you some of the things that you can do with it. Obviously, you can access uh, folders, Word documents, Excel documents, uh, anything you can save there. Software, you want to put some software there, you want to install it on another machine. Um, the world is open to you on the cloud with your own personal server. Windows 2012 Essentials. Alright, well I appreciate you watching. Thank you very much.